Please welcome to the stage the very funny, come on, Emily Howell! Ah, I know what you guys are thinking. That's a 35-year-old woman who really just didn't take very good care of herself. That's just what 47 looks like. You know, I just got the skin tab cut off my eyelid this week, so I was afraid that y'all wouldn't get that one. Anyway, I am of the age, guys, where... Um, you know, all of my peers at this point are pretty much either getting divorced or are divorced. And they're out there online dating for the first time. Mm -hmm. And it's been really a pretty uh, difficult for me trying to hold their hands through the tough times of online dating, if you know what I mean. Oh my God, until I realized that they're basically just going through the same stages as Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's death and dying you know like first they get the news well your divorce is final but i'm sorry people get dates online now <laughs> and then there's the denial well i'm not really online dating i'm just on tinder you know making fun of the people who are <laughs> then there's the anger these motherfuckers won't even message me back <laughs> Then they start with the bargaining, you know, with the match dot gods. <laughs> you know, just for a little more time, you know, I'll be better. I'll start working out. You know, I've already started doing CrossFit. Surely I told you that already, right? I have been going already, but gosh, I mean, four visits a month is like $80. And if you can manage to go eight times a month, it's $160? I mean, I'm sorry, do you, you, have you guys even have like a price break or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. You know, we don't cut corners here at CrossFit. <laughs> We're gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> okay, I'll try to eat less queso. Just please give me a second chance at a second date. <laughs> then there's the depression, as they mentioned, you know, I am gonna die alone. Hmm. And then finally, they come to acceptance. You know, a good vibrator really can fill all the holes. <laughs> you know, not everyone follows the Kubler-Ross stages. Some of them actually follow the Keebler-Ross stage, and they just die <laughs> from eating too many Chips Ahoy <laughs> cookies. You know, I've thought a lot about these stages because I am a survivor. Thank you. Of Chips Ahoy. And cancer. Yeah. Thank you very much. You know, cancer was not as cool as you guys are making it sound right now. Um, it did have some perks though because um, I had breast cancer. So I got these brand new boobs. No, yeah. thank you. They have been a little bit awkward though, because you know, since the reconstruction surgery, my boobs don't actually feel anything when people touch them. But then I realized that I can feel my boobs when I'm touching them. <laughs> and they're awesome. And it's awesome because it's like being with a younger, hotter woman, <laughs> but without having to leave the house or admit that I'm bisexual. <laughs> Thank you. I will admit though that I am attracted to more gender fluid people. You know, people with both masculine and feminine qualities. Even though I'm really less gender fluid, uh, more, you know, Gender cottage cheese. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I am married, you know. My husband, he is um, pretty cool and he mostly supportive. You know, like back when I was writing a lot of puns, 
on Twitter to win the internet. <laughs> he would tell me, but baby, puns just aren't funny. And I was like, well, I know. Puns aren't funny when you're stupid. <laughs> he says I should tell a lot more dick jokes and you know, I would, but I'm just, I worry that they're not deep enough <laughs> for you guys. Did I mention his name is Dick? I do love Dick, though. Wait, that just sounded weird. I mean, I love cock. <laughs> so it works out. Anyway, um, you know, watching all my friends do this online dating um, has actually increased my resolve to stay married. Um, you know, because I've realized that dating these days is just too risky. You know, back when I was dating like 20 or so years ago, all we had to worry about was, you know, w did our date have an STD? Or, you know, like how many lines of Coke were gonna be at the party? <laughs> you know, now you have to worry about which side of the party line they voted on. I mean, we had uh, condoms to protect us. Um, what's gonna protect you if you find out too late that you had sex with a Trump supporter. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I've been Emily Howell. Thank you so much. <laughs>